Hey, it's Ella. How are you guys doing? I haven't really been on YouTube for a little while because I've been traveling a lot. I've been in Sedona, I've been in Hawaii, I've been in LA, and I just drove up to the Bay Area of San Francisco last night. So um, anyway, I appreciate all of your love and all of the comments that you've been getting, and I know that I've been missed. Um, and you've been missed too. I'm really happy to just take a minute today and offer something to you because I've received so many phone calls and emails and been in conversations with quite a few people right now that seem to just be having a mild panic attack and sometimes not so mild. And it just seems like things are really coming to a head for so many people all over the planet at this moment. And my father's gongs are now banging again just to confirm that. <laughs> but anyway, my point is, is that I just feel like if you have that pit of fear in your stomach and you have your heart racing and there's just something that feels slightly off in your life and it keeps reoccurring and you're not sleeping well or there's just things coming up and you're having more of a need to have a cigarette or a drink just to loosen up, um, I really want to suggest that you get into your practice of meditation or doing something physical to get in your body and move uh, move around that stagnation because all pain and fear and anxiety, all that stuff is either from an excessive amount of energy or from stagnation of energy. And what I mean to say in energy is just like not doing or doing too much, right? So get physical and get out your journal or get a piece of paper, like three computer pages, like eight and a half by 11, and just write. And don't be worried about your penmanship and how ugly it is or if you have no idea what the hell you're saying. Just move it. Get it out of your head because your monkey mind, as one of my teachers calls it, um, is going to just throw shit at you all day long. And if you don't get yourself to wrap around it um, and remember that it's just your mind and it's not real sometimes, it can really spin you out. So um, that and also... Just know that the only thing you have control over in life is your reaction to it. You don't have control over your partner, you don't have control over your friends, or your parents, or your dogs, or the gongs that won't stop, <laughs> although I probably could like adjust the wind flow in here, but just remember that you need to surrender the fact that you have no control over any of this, but you have control over your heart, and you have control over your breath, so find it find it today. Get that journal, go outside, get quiet, be still. And even if you have all this stuff come up and you don't know what to do with it, it's okay. And this too shall pass. Okay? So that's what I have to give for you today. And um, I'll be back on Monday with question of the week. Please email anything you've got going on to me. I'd be happy to help you out. Go ask Ella at gmail.com. And um, yeah, just be good to yourself. Okay? This goes for me just as much as it goes for you. So be well. Ciao.